Superscript on Squarespace. This is a really niche request, but I've had it two times now. And two times in my book means, okay, this is common enough for other people to probably be having the same request. So basically for those who don't know what Superscript is, it's when, let's say, uh, you've got trademark or the copyright symbol, and you've got, let's say your font size is 10 pixels, 10 px, your copyright would be up, so it'd be at like a, a line to the top of the, the letter, but then the font size would be maybe, I don't know, four or five. You can do this with other things, maybe like the squared sign, or in, in this instance for the client, what they wanted was, it's like um, they had like a trademarked name and they, it was, at the end it was like PVT or something and then they wanted that to be superscript. And I was like, I have no idea how to do this. But then I did a little bit of outside of the box thinking, come up with a solution and then funnily enough, the next week another client asked me, Sam, we need superscript for another trademarked name. And I was like, okay, someone else is going to definitely have this problem. So I'll show you how to add it. It's probably not as complicated as you think. And hopefully after this, you'll be able to add it to your site or your client websites. So this is one of my client websites that called Naked Energy and they have two products. So we've got Virtu or Virtu Hot and then Virtu or Virtu PVT. So you can see we've got the superscript added in here, just here like this. So how do we do this and how do we make it different for each product? So how do we have two variants of superscript. Now, it's a little bit complex, probably not as complex as you're thinking though. What we're doing is we're making use of bold and italics as the targets to apply the code to. So we can have two separate uh, styles of superscript on one page. So what I'll do is I'll take you over to the code and I'll show you how I've done it. So strong in CSS means bold, EM means italics. So you can see we've got two different examples here where we can add two different styles of, well, two different words as superscript. So bold, we've added hot. Italics, we've added PVT. I've just taken that over from the client website. You can add whatever you want. If you wanted to add like code or, you know, Sam is cool, then you could do that too. You can add anything but anyway i'll start at the top so what i've done is i've made this text here bold like this and i've made this text here italics and i've used code to basically reverse the bold and the italics so the text just looks normal and to do that for strong or for bold we have to do font weight normal if you want it to stay bold then by all means don't include this but I don't want it to look bold. So font weight, normal, important. And then font style, normal for italics. Then we want to add and after. So after just means after the text. If we did and before, it would sit before. Nice and simple. Then we can customize the font size. So if we just had no font size, then it would actually just be the same size as the text. And then if we were to get rid of the top, then it would just sit in line with the text. And so what we need to do is specify that font size. So 15px, you can go smaller. It depends on the size of the paragraph font or the header font being used. Obviously, this is quite large. So if you want it on smaller text, you're probably going to be looking at like um, anything between 5 and 10px. So 5px, that might work on paragraph font. 10 as you get a little bit bigger and then you know if you're using stupidly big fonts then you could probably even go up to like um, 30 px something like that i'm going to keep it at 15 for this example then top usually on polygraphs i use minus five but on larger fonts like this you can see it, it's not really at the top so it doesn't look like superscript here 15 works well position relative if we take that away we can't actually move it with the code. So keep that in. And then content is just what is going to go here. So you can write your superscript. If you want it, for instance, to be the copyright symbol, you would just grab the copyright symbol and copy it in. So if I grab that here 
and then it sits in like that nice and simple a lot of people also like to do trademark so i can add trademark like so and that would sit in there as well you can add as i say whatever you want and then the same goes for italics so we get rid of these what happens okay we get the, exactly the same but basically the reason why i use bold and italics is because we can have two different options if you don't want to then you could just get rid of one so you can do that and if you just want a superscript to apply to only one section what we have to do is wrap the code in the section id so you're going to use the squarespace block id finder google chrome plugin that is going to give you section ids block ids and a collection id so first off actually let's say you wanted to apply to only one page you'd grab the collection id and then you would paste that in here open the brackets and then close the brackets at the end of the code here but we can see because this is bold we're getting the superscript in here as well so i only want to apply this in this specific case to a section so we go down and i think yeah okay i just want to apply it to here get the section id replace that collection id hit save and now we can see it's still applied here but it's not applied up here nice and simple if you want to go one further and just apply it to one block you would wrap this in just that code and then you can see it doesn't even apply to italics if you want to include the italics put a comma add that block id and we're golden it doesn't apply anywhere else so hopefully that was useful i know it was a little bit long-winded but if you are looking to use superscript on your squarespace website this is probably the easiest way to do it and if you did find this useful please make sure to leave a like hit subscribe and check out all of the squarespace resources in the description below